Hi, my name is Emery Dunn and I'm a physical therapist for the last 21 years. I'm currently studying to be a rolfer, which will take another two years. There are only 10 rolfers in Ireland and what rolfing does is helps you calm down your autonomic nervous system through deep tissue myofascial release. So what I'm going to talk to you in this video is many exercises that you can do to identify where your stresses lie and how to release them. So step one, when you get a deep tissue myofascial release treatment, all our stresses are caused in our autonomic vagus nerve. So there's two states that a person is in. You're either in parasympathetic or sympathetic. When you're in parasympathetic, everything's calm. Our immune system's working, everything's working in optimum function. When you're in sympathetic, you're stressed. You're pumping cortisol through the vein, through your system, and everything doesn't work. One way to de-stress is to get in touch with nature and go on a tour to a mythical site in Ireland. Really good thing to do. Is that my Joey? Yeah. Step two, identify where your stresses lie. Do you get stressed driving? Do you get stressed? Do you feel you have to bring the dogs for a walk every single day? Does that stress you out? Are you stressed putting the kids, getting them to get them to school? Are you stressed in your work? Just figure out where your stresses lie. So what does the sympathetic nervous system mean? It means you're either in flight, fight, freeze, fawn, defense. So I want you to identify your stresses. Which are they? Do you get aggressive easily? Do you shut down? Do you f get flaky and freeze and fly off? Do you run away? Do you get depressed? Do you defend? Are you always in defensive mode? These are all signs that you're extremely stressed. So once you've identified where your stresses are, if you're in fight, flight, defense, freeze, fawn, awareness is the first step. Figure out what triggers them. When exactly do you go into one of those stress modes? Once you've done that, I'm going to show you steps to release them. So according to myth Celtic mythology, how they did ancient when somebody was stressed, it meant that their heart and their mind were not in alignment. So what they used to do is they used to go and sit under a hawthorn tree just like this. And they would sit there and identify the malalignment between heart and mind. And they would sit there until it was in alignment. So if your heart's saying one thing and your mind is saying another, it means you're stressed. It's another example of, of being stressed. So maybe get in touch with nature, sit under a hawthorn tree and get your heart and mind in sync. Okay, another way to get in touch and release stress is to connect to your body. So what exercises do you like to do that bring, get your body alive? Do you like to dance? Do you like to cycle? Do you like to box? Do you like to play football? Do you like to just move? Anything that's going to entail your body moving, it doesn't necessarily have to be one or thing or another or what you think you should do. Just connect to your body. Find out the parts in your body where you feel the stress. Is it in your gut? Is it in your heart? Is it in your lower back? Is it in your head? It manifests many different ways. So identify that and then we can use different ways to release it. We are in Ishnok, down at the lake, King Luke, and there's Joey Noodle. Step four, get a deep tissue rolfing treatment that helps calm down your autonomic nervous system. 
which will help regulate and get you into parasympathetic nervous out of sympathetic into parasympathetic and then you'll be able to regulate your nervous system <laughs> like better it's me and joey going on the hill of Vishna for a tour hi joey hi. Hi. hi so just to talk to you about what rolfing is so rolfing was created by a lady called dr Ida rolf and she was the first woman in the world to get a phd in biochemistry um, she then went, was in a very serious accident and had serious back pain and she created these 10 series of treatments where you could she would correct your posture in 10 treatments. So Dr. Ed Rolf always believed or she, she created this philosophy is that how we orient our musculoskeletal system all is in relation to gravity so we're either working with or against gravity in our bodies so what she discovered um in the 1940s 50s 60s was that her intuition which she couldn't actually prove at the time was that if you freed up the fascia everything underneath would heal while the anatomists and doctors at the time were saying that fascia was irrelevant to any chronic pain but she was saying, no, she really believed that if you free up the fascia, you free up the, the, const the constricts or the immobilizations in your body. So then in 2006, 2007, a Dr. Um, Schleip, who's also a Rolfer, he was an orthopedic surgeon. He discovered when, you know, the keyhole surgeons the, with the cameras would go into the fascia to to heal they would see all this fascia had patterns so dr Ederoff always knew that that fascia was made out of three things collagen elastin and gelatin and they created this calistopic patterns which manifest physically in your body so according to dr Ederoff, there's five things that affect gravity in your body and they are adaptation to your environment so how you orient according to the environment that you grow up in. Culture affects gravity in your body. Perception, so how you perceive the world and how you want the world to perceive you. And it's all to do with trauma that's trapped in your body. So when you're traumatized, and there's many forms of trauma, emotionally, physically, it's not what happens to you, it's what's the effect inside your body after it has happened. It causes you to perceive the world a certain way and it, it causes you to want the world to perceive you in a certain way in order for you to protect yourself from further trauma. Number four is physiology. Number five is psychology. So the five things that affect gravity in your body is psychology, physiology, adaptation to the environment, perception, and culture those all affect gravity in your body so this is fascinating information it's to do with the mind body can connect when you free up your fascia you free up the trauma you free up the you calm down the autonomic nervous system and everything gets back to homeostasis which is healing fully optimum function so the body is always trying to heal itself and with you, with your patterns, your like if you've got emotional uh, behavior patterns that can manifest physically in your body, cause you to hold yourself a certain way and you're trying to protect yourself and then you're working against gravity. So that is the work that I do. When someone comes to me for a treatment, I, I, we, we discuss in length where their stresses lie, where they're triggered for their stresses what their lifestyle entails it could you know it doesn't have to be deep in you know it's not psychological effects it could be just the way their patterns of behavior at home the lack of exercise they're always in their heads too much and not connected to their body 
could be as simple as that can heal chronic pain, but also it, or it could be deeper where you need real psycho, it's psychotherapy also would help release emotions that are trapped in your body. So there's many things that you can do to heal. The thing is to, the thing is to identify where you need to heal and how you need to heal it. There's not one thing fixes all. So that's where I get people to really connect to themselves, mind, body and spirit.